Hello and welcome everyone to the fuel fields. I've actually already recorded and beat this level today. I accidentally forgot to press record. It was freaking funny. So now I have a better understanding of the level on accident. Um, let me try that again. Uh, take number two, but take number one for you guys. Hey, hey, Ben Munch. Lulu's fortune is growing. Now it's time for a big score. Find a way inside Magog Motors and siphon the CEO's moolah into the Lulu fund. Yeah. You're on your way. Got it, buddy. You got it. Okay, so uh, now that I've already beat this level once and uh, <laughs> first time for the walkthrough, yeah, the spoofs. We're probably going to need it. Might need it, might not need it. Uh, it's for bringing back your Mudokan buddies. This is a combat stage where uh, you don't have to save anybody, but I'm going to try to not let anybody die. A uh, bunch of death and killing and, and that kind of thing and product placements with your Sobe energy drink right there. Get some. Although you, I don't think you can buy that anymore. I don't know. I haven't seen it in a very long time. Yeah. Dude, I forgot to press the freaking record button I, I i thought i pressed it but then i looked over and i clicked to stop recording and i was at magog motors which is the next level <laughs> i laughed a little bit i love this game though so i don't care to play the level all over again all right so as you can see there's slugs out there we're gonna need munch to do some heavy lifting um it's a bunch of going back and forth kill a slug go back kill a slug go back he said attack while looking in the wrong direction. You're a smart person, aren't you? Got him. Can I get him in time? A little speed run. Got him. All right. Yeah, you got to get Abe through here and uh, he can't swim. So I'm going to clear out all the sligs and make it just a little bit easier if I can absolutely help it. This level here, though, it it's a little hard. It, it, ha it has some uh, some uh, mines shenanigans. Some exploding action later on, as you will see. Got him. Hey, Fugly. <laughs> yeah, well, you're next, Fugly. I'll be back in just a minute. Let me let me drink my my juice, and I'll be right back with you. Also, I hope my recording's doing fine. My OBS is being jank today, I guess. My recording software. Attack. Boy. Yeah. All right, so a little strategy coming up. Munch is done for practically the rest of the level. For a, at least a good long while. Okay. So. Gotta get our boy across. Gather your spouse. I'm gonna probably make him swim a couple of times. Like that, you know, because... He's taking a beating in the water. He's getting murked up in the water. There's piranhas or something. Apparently, even though the water looks actually... Pretty clean. Which is... Odd. Okay. Um, we're doing good. We're doing good. Just killing Abe a little bit at a time. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing it on purpose. It's just if you don't like run for a step or two, he has no momentum when he jumps. And so, uh, yeah. Okay. So up ahead here, there are two slig on the left, and there's a bunch on the right. This part of the level is kind of a little bit, uh, take your strategy as you will, but I like to possess and try to take a few of them out early because it, it just makes the level a little bit easier, really, because uh, later on you do get a pretty good arsenal of slig, but you know, here in the beginning, just run across and murk some people if you can. They're going to kill you, but it's okay. Come out here, fuglies. Do a little damage if you can. It doesn't matter if you die. It's okay. You're just putting in some damage for later. It's actually kind of a, an insurance policy to yourself. Jump across here with the possession and grab another one and do it again. 
don't worry if you don't kill them all. We're going to be fine. Uh, this is just a um, little early work. Boom. And they got it. All right, we're good. There's a bunch more down there, by the way, so you stood no chance. It was just a little bit of uh, getting them out of the way, like that kind of thing, you know. I'll show you what I mean. At pretty much the end of the level. Because uh, now we got to go all the freaking way around because um, that gate's up, and that's pretty much the last half of the level. Avoid the slags because they will... They'll take you out, because I think every single one of them have guns. And we do not have guns. Well. Nah, he has no guns. He has no arm. He has no bicep strength at all. Although he picks his buddies up, so I don't know, maybe he does. Packing guns in a different way. He uses his friends. <laughs> Alright. We won't need all the spoofs. Although, look at this. I'm going to be abusing the quick save. Okay, here we go. So what I like to do, if I can absolutely help it, is take the guys and throw them at the wall-ish, but not too far up, because if you do, they'll slide down, and they will hit the mines, which is... <laughs> that's not good. Don't do that. Although this jump right here is about to be... Okay, we got it. Uh, I need to pick him up. And also throw him at the wall. We did it. Now, I think that's the only two that's here. We can pick them up and take them back to the other Budokan buddies. Which is all good. Go ahead and take them out here. Because what's going to end up happening at the end of the level anyway is we're going to end up meeting up with all of them. Because there's two different paths that you can go. And uh, this is just, you know, usually how I do it. Just pick them up take them back around, have them all meet up. And there's a bunch of slugs that we need to take out. But one thing I will say is I'm going to try to make us aware they don't have a lot of combat to do themselves because I don't want any of them to die. And uh, even though that doesn't really matter as far as I'm to understand, I just don't want to deal with that because that would be bad. Also, I almost ran way too far up this little mountain here and, and did that. That would have been bad. Okay, so I'm going to get Abe's buddies and get them out of here. So there's, a, there's some combat. Hey, hey, there's combat here. There's my buddy. Hey, I realize they're the ones with the guns and I can probably take everything out. But I'm going to bring them over here and let them stay here. Just sit tight. Be cool. Because what can happen is, uh, <laughs> I guess that can happen. What can happen? <laughs> what can happen is the uh, the uh, the slig. Uh, if they see me or if I'm close enough, they will try to attack me. And uh, these guys have guns. The ones up here do have guns. So what I'm gonna try to do is that camera went freaking bananas. I'm going to go over here and try to take some of the ones across the way here out if I can. If I could just take one or two of them out, that would make the ending a lot easier. Because what you're trying to do is slowly just take these guys out by the end of it. That way when you get all your Redoctin buddies over here, it's free. Although, yeah, they got me. They're probably going to get me for a while, actually. All right, let's see here. Get another one. There's two more gunmen up here. And then the ones that are uh, on the bottom there that I'll run past here in just a second. Those guys, they, they just have batons. So they're not really worth messing around with too much. But I'll, I'll take them out as well. Okay, I got one of them. Yep. Got another one, and if you get too close up, yep. Another guy came out a fresh one. They're, they're gonna kill me, but that's okay. Alright, so that was actually a pretty good run. Even just to take a few of them out was actually helpful. Let's 
Try it again. I very much like the stage. It's not too long of a stage. It's just, you know, a couple things you got to do. Hopefully smart. And um, you'll survive it. It's a combat stage. Let me see here. What y'all got going on up in here? Oh, they freaking left me. Hey. Hey, what was that shit? You try to fight me, then you leave? I'm gonna scoot and shoot. What's your shit? I'm gonna scoot and shoot. You can't touch me if I scoot and shoot. <laughs> oh, dude, I got his ass with a scoot and shoot. You ain't got shit on me, homie. I got scoot and shoot. I am missing. Oh, wait, never mind. I got, I, I'm gonna get him. How you like being on the bottom side, huh? You like that? A little scoot and shoot? Scoot and shoot works. Ah, <laughs> okay. Wow, that act, that actually worked. Oh shit. Okay, I'm gonna go back and try to take some of the baton ones out. Although there's three of them. Eat this. Yeah, they're gonna get me. There's a lot of them. Oh, he just walked up to me and bashed me in the mouth with the baton. I realize at this point I can just take him out with the Mudokins, but trying to be careful and 100% and then the karma and you know, <laughs> it doesn't really matter. That's just how I play it. Got him. Smack a bitch and die. <laughs> I made him smack his buddy. That's all I wanted. That was almost 1-800 choke that hoe. <laughs> uh, that's uh, who, who is that? That's Uncle Joe from uh, the Medea movies, right? Oh man, I love those movies. So freaking dumb. Hey, you like that? You like that? Yeah, he like he like that. He, look, look at that shit. He like that shit. I know, I know. I didn't take him. It's okay. Everybody, listen. I'm gonna take my homies and go beat some ass. But there's literally one guy and he's almost dead. Jump him. Man, I fought you my damn self. No, I won't. <laughs> he started beating my ass. Yeah, yeah. Hold, okay. You guys wait right there. I need to... Uh, what do I need to do? <laughs> I need to run back and get my buddies. They... Um, they're at the other side of the minefield. I'm going to gather all of them, and then we have the last little gate. I think that's it. Yes, okay. We have not lost anyone. I'm going to quick save, actually. All right. Let me see here. Go over here and save these guys that are socializing. What's up? I'm going to bust in on this conversation. You guys follow me. I gotta throw you across the fence, and then we have some um, we have some stuff to do. You just hang here for a while. No oh, man. Oh, man, this guy's like way back here. Come here. Huh? Dude, just don't throw him in the water. That would <laughs> that would suck. Oh come on, man. There you go. Textbook throw. Yeah. One of these days I'm going to accidentally just chuck his ass in the water and just <laughs> have to reload the quick save again. All right, come here. Hey, you jumped. You guys, follow hey, me. Hey, hey, okay. Got some stuff to still do. I got to go save our buddies from across the pond here. All right, come here. Everybody listen. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. Reunited at last. Okay. We have the one fence left. Yes, this should be it. Yeah. Yeah, what I like to do here, you'll see, watch this. So, first we need to open the gate. I don't like letting all my buddies just fight them because you're probably going to lose somebody. It'll happen, trust me. And I don't have a lot of HP. Okay, you guys follow me. Bring them up in here. Just kind of put them like over here somewhere. Let them let them follow. You better stay here. All right. Oh, man. I'll make another quick save here in just a second. 
Get back here. And now we'll just take a couple of them out. Attention on me, please. What can happen is they can still sometimes see you and they'll run up out of there. So what I like to do is attack with one of them just to kind of draw attention and then uh, and then take him out. There's only four of them left, but what I'm going to do is take one more out just in case. Then we'll make our little quick save and we're practically done. This level isn't too bad. Not really. <laughs> See that? That one there sees the guy. Yep, get Abe out of there. I'm, I'm actually damaged quite a bit. Yep. All right. Eh, we should be good. We didn't lose anybody, right? Yeah, no. Okay. A little quick save. All right. That guy right there's a. I'm going to shoot his ass. Yeah. Let him fight. I'll be moral support. Watch this. <laughs> All right. That is everybody. Yep, didn't lose anybody. All right. It is munch time. Munch is like, my God, I like the water, but I was just floating there for about two days. <laughs> All right. We are done with this level. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And we'll be going on to, I believe the next one is Magog Motors.